Hey everyone, Lucas here. Today I want to talk about this pedal, what it is, how I built it and give you a quick demonstration. This DIY pedal was inspired by the JHS Little Black Amp box which costs around 80 euros and I found out that it is pretty easy to build because it's basically just a master volume in a box, uh, in, in pedal shape and it doesn't have a lot of components and what it does, uh, it yeah works as a master volume but you have to put it in the effects loop of an amp. So it only works with amps that have an effects loop. It doesn't work with or it doesn't work um, between the power amp section and the speaker. It's not an attenuator and you cannot use it for that. The send goes into the in and the uh, out goes to the return of the effects loop and that's it. And then you can adjust the volume with it. And compared to the JHS one, this one even is foot switchable. So on full bypass or activated if it's already set to a certain volume level. So I now want to show you how we've built it from scratch and yeah, it's pretty easy. We will show the pictures step by step and the schematics as well. So hope you like that. Hope it helps if you want to build it yourself. And after the building process, um, yeah, I will give you a quick demonstration how it works, but it's, yeah, it's really straightforward. So what do you need to build this pedal? You obviously need the enclosure, which was not pre-drilled in our case. So Martin had to drill in holes here and here and two on top for the foot switch and the knob. He used a metal drill, he started with a small one and then used the larger one so the uh, jacks and all the other uh, parts fit in. Other than the enclosure you need two quarter inch mono jacks, the regular ones. The foot switch is not mandatory, you don't have to build the pedal with this but it's yeah an added bonus if you want to turn it on and off. It's an DPDT switch then we have the 100k audio taper or, or lock taper knob. If you compare this to your guitar knob, um, single coil equipped guitars usually have 250k and humbucker equipped guitars come with 500k uh, usually. So this one is 100k audio taper. So yeah, these are the parts you need. Two checks, the pot, foot switch if you want one and the enclosure. Then construction wise, Martin started drilling the holes that was the first step, then he put in the jacks, then the pot and the foot switch, installed it and pulled, uh, yeah, tightened it so it was already in place. The pedal looked like, you can see it on the picture there, um, with all the parts installed like this. And what I then had to do, I soldered everything together. The foot switch already comes, this last part they were already soldered together. So what I had to do was put all the cables in. I hope you can see it on the schematics as well. I need to turn it so it's like on the screenshot. Right, I started with the ground in black from this jack to the pot. Then the second black cable was another ground. Then the long cable over here to the foot switch. Then this short cable to the outer pin, the first, the long cable was to the middle pin, as you can see on the, on the screenshots, it's, hopefully it's clear there. And then the shorter second wire, this uh, is to the first pin. The short wire from here to here, it looks a little bit different now because we've turned it slightly, but yeah, it's still the same wire. Again, to the middle pin here. Lastly, from this pin here, the first pin, to the pot, to the middle pin of the pot was the last wire. And that's already it. So in total, six wires, two grounds, and a couple of hot wires going to the foot switch and to the pot. And that's all you need to do. It's really simple. Then I just had a spare knob from a, from a PRS and I think it looks pretty cool. And as I intend to use it mostly for the MT-15, it also f uh, is pretty fitting to use a PRS knob. It's just, uh, if you want to use a guitar volume knob, you need to make sure that it fits on the pot. You can see it's like riffled. You need the pot to be like this, to put the regular volume knob on, so it has grip. 
If you don't have that, you need a, a pedal knob, which you can tighten with a screw or something like that. I want to finish this video with a quick demonstration how this pedal works. Uh, I'm going to use the clean channel on the MT-15, just a quick demonstration. And yeah, that's it.